If you believe that understanding photovoltaics and intelligent energy management requires complex planning, a degree in statistics, and sleepless nights with a cup of coffee in one hand, and your bill book in the other one, then someone is about to debunk your theory. I give you the energy panel. The concept of energy and its production, consumption and balance may seem scary or even overwhelming, especially to newcomers. But it really takes a moment to get the gist. In a nutshell, photovoltaic installation is a system composed of one or more solar panels combined with an inverter and other electrical and mechanical hardware that use energy from the sun to generate electricity. The size of the system will depend on the type of property and individual needs of its inhabitants. Just to give you a good understanding of solar potential, an average solar panel within one day will produce enough energy to power a 100 watt uh, light bulb for 20 hours, keep the ice cream in your fridge freezer nice and cold for two days, or use your oven to make a quick souffle. While a single panel produces a relatively small amount of energy, it can be linked together with other panels to produce higher amounts of energy as a solar array. Obviously, the key to maintaining a steady balance between energy production and consumption is to be aware of how our household appliances behave during specific times of day and night. It wouldn't be a user-friendly approach if you were to calculate this on your own or had to take my examples for granted. This is where smart energy management in a form of the energy panel comes into action. The energy panel is a built-in feature of UB Home and Home Center gateways, one that you can easily access through the browser user interface or our dedicated mobile app that supports tablets, and mobile phones. While the energy panel has been prepared mainly for customers with energy producing installations, it also allows to analyze the consumption of energy at home. That is to make decisions on the use of certain devices or even change habits depending on the generated costs. The solution is universal in the sense that it is suitable for systems containing energy meters and more basic installations with no such devices. In the case of the former, the total energy consumption data will come from the selected energy meter or energy meters if you happen to use more than one device. If there's no energy meter in the system, the total data will be calculated automatically from all devices in the system with energy metering activated. We will get back to those smart devices later. Let's now look a little closer at the energy panel. There are three available tabs. General tab is the basic view of the energy panel, which provides the summary of produced and consumed energy within a selected period. Although I call this the basic display, the number of details that you get from a quick glimpse will give you a very solid understanding of how different elements of your smart home are working together. For instance, there is a separate section that lists devices that consume the most energy at your home. Then there is the Savings tab, which serves as the advanced view in the energy panel. You use it for precise analysis of energy consumption and control of costs and savings in a specific time period. It consists of elements like the bar summarizing the energy consumption of your home, or the energy balance graph in time. Use them to optimize your costs and find out about appliances that consume large amounts of energy outside of the hours when more energy is produced than consumed. Finally, there is the Echo tab, a peculiar section that is the visual representation of the positive impact that your daily decisions have on the environment. Want to know how self-sufficient your energy production is? Or perhaps you are striving to learn how your rational decision on optimized energy production contributed to growing more trees and reducing carbon dioxide emission? You're in the right place. 
Keep in mind that it is the browser user interface that offers the most advanced options of the energy panel. Now, let's focus for a moment on the wide range of smart devices that you can use to measure energy consumption. Since there are a lot of them, we will use some basic categories. Come on, follow me. Household appliances like refrigerators, washing machines and electrical heaters can be managed by smart plugs or sockets, like Fibaro wall plug or Wally outlet. The former can be moved freely around the house and the installation is as easy as it gets. You just plug it into a wall socket. Wally outlet needs to be mounted in an installation box but offers higher power output in return. For measuring the energy consumption of various light sources, including halogen lamps, dimmable LED bulbs, RGB or RGBW LED strips, you will benefit from smart devices like single or double switch, dimmer 2 or RGBW controller 2. Selecting the right module for a given type of light is essential to make it work properly, so details of all the presented devices can be found in the description. Measuring the energy consumption of roller blinds, awnings, Venetian blinds or even gates is also possible. Just use Roller Shutter 3. There are also products like Kubino 3-Phase Z-Wave Smart Meter. You can use it to measure the power consumption of devices such as heat pumps, induction cooktops, ovens, or to gather accurate information on electrical cars' energy consumption. For any good habit to kick in, patience and repetition are required. All that has been said so far wouldn't be that user-friendly if you had to constantly keep track of all the diagrams, lists and dependencies on your own. Let your smart home help you with that task by sending relevant notifications about energy consumption reports and events. You also do not have to worry that you will be overwhelmed with such reminders because depending on your individual needs, you can set them to appear on a daily, weekly, monthly or annual basis. It will only take you a moment to set them. Notifications in a form of push or email notifications can be sent to all or selected householders and can refer to lack of energy production, energy balance, differences in energy production or consumption in comparison with the previous week or month, changes of current tariff, and so on and so on. Let's go one smart step further and come up with examples of use cases and automations that will help you manage your energy with ease. The system can, for instance, turn off the lights for which motion has not been detected for 15 minutes. The energy panel will compare the energy consumption of devices in the light category from before the change was implemented with the period after the modification. It's not uncommon to experiment with different types of lighting from time to time. At some point, you may decide to install throughout your house LED lightning to replace conventional incandescent bulbs. After, let's say, three months, you will be able to compare the energy balance and receive clear information about how much money you saved because of that change. Keeping your heater on the entire time doesn't seem like a great idea. Not only will you overheat the room, but because of tariff rates, it will generate too many costs. Create a simple scene with the use of energy panel and turn on the devices automatically only when the night tariff begins. This can work the other way around as well. If you notice that some devices in your household consume too much energy, you can prepare a simple automation, one that will automatically turn devices or additional lights off after they exceed the set power consumption. One last thing that I would like to draw your attention to is that by being aware of the current energy consumption, your smart home well, acts as a watchdog for your photovoltaic installation and your household appliances. Since you know how to monitor data in your energy panel and you have proper notifications ready, you can easily spot any anomalies in the photovoltaic installation or household appliances. As you know, prevention is better than cure, or maybe rather repair or replace in this specific scenario. Anyway, in the long run, it is also more cost effective and time effective. Hope you enjoyed our video. 
please let us know about devices, features or services that you would like to hear about in the future. Till next time!